should all be lined up and sh awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at Joan! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than DedSec ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, Dead Sex showed their true colours. It's terrifying to think we harboured such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find Dead Sex more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Quinto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bomb? They didn't do it alone. They're all in on it. The government, Albion, Sirs, Bloom, Sky Bloody Larson, and all the way up to Downing Street. They want to keep us scared, harness us with, with mind control, so every last ounce of usefulness out of us, and, and even in death will sell off our bodies. And what do you suggest we do, Crypto King? Go underground. Deep enough, no electric signal can get you. It's the only way. Well, thank you to all of our callers today, and thank you for tuning in and scouting for the truth along with me. Next week, Buccaneer Radio will be diving into the Albion Corporation. Just who are these men and women being paid lucrative amounts for the city's defense? Are they protecting us? Protecting London? Or someone else's interests? See you next week, fellow pirates. Claire Waters, out. is worse than I thought. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board.
glad to see you're alive. Still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. All right. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. As long as I don't have to cop my pant to unlock some itch and blood seal, we should be fine.
Wish me luck. I better get the power back on. Registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exits, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Sabine sent me. I'm a friend. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, Dead Sex definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the Dead Set Network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. To the upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, CTOS was first used in Chicago in 2014 and then San Francisco in 2017 before coming here to London. And every time it's been rolled out, it's been pretty much an unmitigated disaster. For those of you who are listening who are lucky enough not to be here in London's chaotic scenes, it's worth remembering that the telecoms tower is now... Ah, that's it. I'm reconnected to the network. Downloading our... Oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Who could be brazen enough to set DedSec up for the bombings? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Welcome back to... Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black, the same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Well, Ross Clot. 
I'm glad you're still with us. I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition hit would have you hunted down and shot on sight. Listen me. As far as London is concerned, DeadSec is responsible for the bombings. And anyone still working for them is persona non grata. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DeadSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Well, sometimes you have to do what's right. Excellent! New user registered! Welcome to DeadSec! Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your DeadSec kit. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DeadSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DeadSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. Start with some basic strikes. Hit me. Don't be shy. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. You're getting it. You're getting it. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Yes. Nice one. Couldn't have done that better myself.
only one more skill you need to master. Socialization. The rest of your team has arrived. Why not go and have a chat? Welcome to DeadSec. Fuck yeah. Ready to help make a difference. Yo. Yo, I can't believe we just like dead sec or whatever. With no initiation or nothing. I'm afraid it's too late. We're learning on the job. Now that you're all as thick as cyber thieves, Sabine would like to talk to you. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that DedSec are fighting along with them. Absolutely. And we help take down the people who are exploiting this tragedy. And Albion's acting like they're in a contest to be the number one big bad fascist in the whole fucking world. Don't forget about Clan Kelly. Them fucks have way too much power. I've got beef of them. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. First order of business. The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the bleeding edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. Warning, sir. Guards are on fire. Pedestrians may be held suspect. 